Have you spoken to Yolanda? I've texted her quite a few times. Wonder, I literally texted her. Let me see. I say I send positivity. What about Sunday night? Can I come over? She's like, um, no, you can't. <laughs> well, pretty much. But maybe she's not up to it. I think sometimes she doesn't feel well. She doesn't, doesn't feel. She doesn't want it. Yeah. I don't quite understand what's wrong with her. I don't know if it is Lyme disease, but I'm not criticizing her. I'm just questioning it. She was having some anesthetic. She had stem cell transplant. Just a lot of stuff. I just imagine I'm going to put my headphones on and just walk. Yeah. Until I walk all this misery out of my body. Since I was diagnosed with neurological Lyme disease in 2012, you know, it's been a journey. I look quite normal, but yet I'm so sick. Like, I have weakness in my legs, no brain function. I mean, I haven't driven a car in three years. You know, I've done stem cells, I've done ozone treatments, I've done holistic antibiotics. I mean, I've been to many different places where people are open to different treatments that are not accepted or approved by the FDA here in America. It's been like trying to uncover a murder mystery. I'm having a housewarming party actually in the Hamptons, so you, you should come. Are you okay, going to be I out? I go every free weekend I have. I love oh, it. me too. I love it. Wait till you see this new house I have. It is so charming. Cheers.